Today we're working on throttle body shaft seals. So right here is a throttle body. So we're going to have to start off by getting this off the car. Removing this elbow and these four bolts. And then there's some uh, coolant lines that attach to the bottom for your cold start. Now that we have this out, we're going to clean it real good. And I'm going to show you how to take these apart so you can change the seal that's behind the spring and behind the TPS sensor. We're also going to check the idle air control valve, motor, whatever you want to call it. Check it to see if it has play. If it does, I'll order a new one. Now that we have this throttle body out of the car, we are going to start removing things to make this uh, rebuild possible. First I want to check out this idle air control valve. So we're just going to take this one out. Just those two screws. So that's pretty, that's still decently tight compared to some other ones if your motor goes click 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 way far away uh, then that's bad alright now we're gonna take out the throttle plate here alright obviously it doesn't come out right you have to Open it all the way, and then slide it right out. Come on. Now we're going to remove the TPS sensor here. After I got the uh, TPS off, we are going to take off this nut so we can get this rod out. This is a 12 millimeter. Just go ahead and take it off like so. So all you're going to do is wiggle it. And then the spring will want to, you know, loosen up. Um, from what I could tell right now, it was three turns. And uh, that was the stiffness. If you just uh, pay attention to what it's like at the beginning, then you'll be alright. Now you can slide the shaft out. Now, to get these seals out, I'm going to have to go grab a pick or something. Uh, so the seals are right in here. These are leaking on mine, so we need to pop these out and then pop the new ones in. It's also a good idea to uh, change the bis screw o-ring, which I have right here. There's the part number. And then the cap that covers uh, the bis screw after it's adjusted. And then here's the throttle body seals. So. After you get the old ones out, you're going to put the new ones in and you're going to put them the bevel where you can see the bevel. So they don't go like that. They go down in like so with the bevel out. Okay. Now once you have them in, they need to be nice and flush here. So now we're going to take the rod, we're going to use a little bit of wheel bearing grease here and make it so that the shaft actually goes in nicely and then we can clean it off after the shaft's in.
put it in halfway, now lube the other side. Then slowly twist, wiggle, there we go. Now we can go ahead and clean it off. All the excess. Alright, the screws were facing the outside, the front, I guess you would say. And put this back in. It's going to be a little tight. Just line the holes back up. Alright, now we're going to put the screws back into those holes. Those are the flat, uh, tapered ones. Make sure you go nice and smooth so you don't cross thread these because that would make a bad day for you. Put the spring back over there's two hooks here for the green and the gold spring and there's two hooks over here that hook on this now don't just put it on because you won't have any tension right so what you want to do is you lift this off so it's not on and we're going to rotate this So as you can see here, that was one full revolution, it's decently tight, but we have to do another half a rotation to get this back onto the stop here. So, one and a half rotations should get you the correct tension. And it hits this stopper right here. And that's how you know it's lined up right. Take a washer, put the washer on, and the nut. Go ahead, tighten it. Don't torque it too much, just give it a nice little tug. So now that spring's nice and compressed, and we're all good. We're nice and clean. I actually had some nasty hard stuff built up. I had to take a little Brillo pad and scrape it off. Now that that's done, we can mount back on our TPS sensor, start it uh, counterclockwise a little bit from the hole, and then rotate it forward and put the screws in, because if you go too far, then when you, it's just bad. So start with the plug straight up, bring it over till the holes line up, screw this in. Leave this sensor loose because you're going to have to dial in the voltage uh, with zero throttle to 0.63 volts. So don't tighten this until it's in the car.
one last thing to do now and that is to rebuild this bis screw which it's not really rebuilding you're just swapping over Okay, yeah, this one's really hard. So I'm sure that was leaking as well, some of the boost. Take the new one, wrap it around, poof, done. But you may rip this O-ring if you don't lube it the first time you put it in. So just lube it a little bit. I'm going to put it in and so you go all the way down and then usually it's two turns out so my thumb is a turn one two that's usually the average you're gonna have to play with it once it's in the car <clears throat> and that's it, that's all you guys gotta do. Now it's fully rebuilt, new seals, new O-rings, and this cap will go in here like so. So until next time, wrench on guys.